What's up guys? So 2021 has been a very eventful year for smartphones and its users. We've seen budget phones, mid-range phones and flagship phones up there, very expensive and all. So in this video, I'm kind of just going to be going over my best budget phones of 2021. Since I'm among the public that uses the budget phones, I can't really afford the mid-range and flagship. So I was talking about my best budget phones of 2021 on Bliss channel. Let's do this video. Hey guys, welcome back to Bliss channel. So, we are doing the best budget smartphones of 2021, but before we continue, okay, so this video is going to be a simple one. I'm going to use a format or a method. So for each phone I call out, I'm going to tell you when it was launched, how much it costs, and my favorite feature about the phone. So the first phone on my list is the Techno Spark 7P. Okay, this device was launched around April 2021. It costs around 70,000 Naira for the 4 gigabytes, 64 gigabytes variant, which is actually my best, because why not? So my favorite feature about this device is the fact that it has a Helio G70 processor and the Mali G52 GPU. Those two together help it very well when it comes to gaming. So it was kind of like a budget device for gamers that couldn't really go above that 70, 80,000 Naira range. Plus the camera is good too, so I think it was good. So for the second budget favorite phones, I have to mention the Redmi Note 10 series. Okay, so this series consists of three devices, the Redmi Note 10, the Redmi Note 10S and the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Okay, so these three devices, as the names go, the Redmi Note 10 is the least, second followed by the Redmi Note 10S and then the Redmi Note 10 Pro. So these devices cost between 100,000 Naira to 140,000 Naira as inflation rates kept rising. They were released around March 2021. And I have to say my favorite feature of these devices is their camera. I can't say it enough. The Redmi Note 10 really shocked me. It was first priced at 90,000 Naira. So I didn't really get why the hype was so much about the device. But then when I started taking photos with the camera of the device, I began to notice that it was actually rivaling that of an iPhone, maybe an iPhone X or maybe even the 11. I don't want to over talk. But it was actually very, very impressive. The camera of that device is what I'm mentioning. It's really, really good. The third device on the list, which I'm talking about, is the Infinix Note 10. This device was released in June 2021. At first, I wasn't really a fan, but it's actually a nice phone. Well, the features, I it costs about 100,000 Naira, first of all which may be high for some people but it's still considered as budget considering the specifications and everything you get bundled up with this device my favorite features of this phone are very obvious first of all it has a 6.95 inch display so it's actually my best because it's very good for gaming for media consumption and so much more and also the performance because you can't have a big screen to game with and perform so badly so it comes with the hello g85 processor and the mali gpu so all together they make a very good combo for a budget phone okay so the next device i'm mentioning is the samsung galaxy a22 4g now this device to be honest i wasn't really a fan of it because i was like they have so many tools like there's the a12 there's a32 there's a52 the a72 but i actually saw the need it was kind of an in-between device that was still offering very good display and camera stuff so it costs uh, cost about a hundred and ten thousand naira when it came out also about that it was launched in june 2021 and my favorite features of this device are as follows first of all the amoled display it was really good to have an amoled display on a device like that plus coupled up with the 90 hz refresh rate so scrolling everything and uh, media gaming and everything was much smoother than it was on 60 hz devices so it will be good if you can like and subscribe to the channel as it will be very good for all of us it encourages me actually when you like and subscribe to the channel okay so another device worthy of mentioning in 2021 is the oppo a54 now normally i wasn't really a fan of oppo until 2021 so when they released the oppo a54 in march 2021 i decided to check the phone out turns out it was actually good it was priced at around 80 
to 87,000 Naira, depending on the variance, location and so much more. Now, my favorite features of this phone were the camera, the battery life and the body design, the design of the phone, its build. Well, the battery was very good. It had a long lasting battery that could last the whole day usage. The camera could take really decent photos as Oppo is known for actually having very good cameras on their smartphones. But then when it came to the physical design of the phone, I was attracted to it because it was sleek, flat and was actually very comfortable to hold. So let's be see Vivo. Vivo released the Y33 in around August 2021. It's a very nice phone actually. Normally I wasn't a fan. In fact, I wasn't a fan of a lot of these companies I like now, but 2021 actually just opened me. That was why I was saying 2021 was very eventful for smartphone users and it's enthusiasts. My favorite feature on Vivo devices is the extendable virtual RAM feature. Now this feature was so good, a lot of other companies have to start incorporating it into their devices. It allows you to allocate a little bit of your ROM, which is your hard storage your RAM in order to increase performance and multitasking so it was actually a very good feature now vivo phones also have very good camera very awesome user interface which was very very beautiful okay so the last device but it's not the least actually is the techno camon 17 not the pro just the camon 17 okay so this device came out in was released in may 2021 it cost about 120,000 naira when it first came out, but I think it has gone up a little bit due to inflation rates and the rest to about 130,000 naira. It was rumored to be one of the clearest selfie camera phones, which, based on people's testimonies and images I've seen, is actually true. It has one of the best selfie cameras this year among budget phones. So that's actually my favorite feature of this phone, coupled other with its performance for gaming and the rest so the Techno Camon 17 is a very good phone now another thing I also have to mention about this device is the body the body of the device was actually nice it was smooth it was a kind of redesign and revolution from Techno Techno's usual phone design so that's one thing we wanted to mention okay guys so that's all for this video so all the devices and phones mentioned in this video are all budget devices of 2021 they cost really nicely and have a lot of features like the camera, the display, uh, the performance and so much more that will really benefit if you get any of these phones. I know the year is about to run out but most of these phones will still be available to next year. Also don't forget to like and subscribe like I said earlier. Like and subscribe to the channel so that you can get more updates. Don't forget to turn on post notifications and we'll see you in the next video.